my father was a, a painter and a, a portrait artist and an art director for a corporate America, Ford Motor Company. And he exposed me to museums and galleries and in Michigan, Detroit area. And uh, we had a great library at the house and I just kind of was always interested in drawing and making things. And then I was in a museum show. I think that was really what tripped a, a, a switch in my mind uh, at about 12, 13 years old. And it was a traveling Van Gogh show, actually. And um, one of those blockbuster shows that drew you know, thousands of people. And at that age, I, I couldn't, I didn't know anything about Van Gogh or actually that kind of freeform painting. And I thought, is this an adult gets to do this? And all these people are like, you know, sanctifying it and holding it up. And I thought, oh, well, I want to do that. I'm Mark Blaney, and we're in the woods, the Yellowwood forest on about five acre plot that Julie James and I own and operate a small micro farm here. I think trying to draw from something and closely observing it and then having kind of a motor skill reaction to it by using a pencil or a, a paintbrush um, helps me to concentrate for longer periods of time at what I'm looking at so I can see a you know, a, a landscape or a group of trees and passing light and I can let myself pause and try to take it in and then create symbols about that period of time that end up being a painting or a drawing. It's, it's kind of difficult to describe except that it's kind of a calligraphy, you know, about what you're seeing. So, you know, it, it taught me to slow down and enjoy nature more. So I can work in the studio for a couple hours more and then walk outside and it enlivens what I see and helps me appreciate moments in nature. So I started drawing outside, going for long walks, coming back with pieces of art or early pieces of art. And just one thing built to another, you know, I had to learn to add color to drawings and then sitting inside and finishing pieces. And it just kind of, I stayed with it. And I always have been painting from nature in, uh, I would begin these large paintings, I would begin them, begin them with drawings that I've seen or thought of by having seen something in nature that was particularly beautiful to me. And I just wanted to hold that idea for a while, so gradually created a storage problem for myself. Mm, I really like space and quiet. Um, between encounters with folks and, and we've got it here and long walks in the woods are always inspiring you know whether I'm making art or not on a daily basis we're out walking walk the dogs in the garden um, I just want to be able to go from one to the other and enjoy both uh, making art, making garden, 